life and life. The Craft Music Hall with Bing Crosby, John Scott Trotter and his orchestra, Marilyn Maxwell, the music maids and man, Yuki, the charioteers, and Bing's guest for this evening, Paramount's big new star, Mr. Sonny Tufts. And here's Bing Crosby. Stop all of me, Jojo. A tree from the big snow. Love made me moon glow. And what do you know? He said, honey, I'll catch you. Take you down to Wenatchee With a bundle of scratchies Buy you a wedding bow He promised jive and lie To pitch a wigwam there She dug but she preferred the square from Delaware So now there's no moon glow In the land of the big snow Just a guy that's gone loco Quality Joe. Snoqualamie Joe, Joe, Snoqualamie Joe, a chief from the big snow. Do, 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 love the maiden named Moon Glow. And what do you know? He said, honey, I'll catch you. He said, he gonna catch you. Take you down to win that chick. Do, 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 with a bundle of scratchy. Buy you a wedding bow. He told her jive and lie. But she was sharp and cute She dug, but she preferred An old beat-up pile So now there's no moon glow In the land of the big snow Just a guy that's gone low and cold Poor Snoqualamie Joe Snoqualamie Joe, Joe A chief from the big snow A chief from the big snow The maiden named Moon Glow A chick from the big snow Now the guy has gone loco The moon and the glow got Snoqualamie Joe This here is the old craft music hall, friends, en route to world battle stations, where many a war-weary man hasn't much to look forward to but mail call. A letter from home about home. Writing these letters is part of our job. Get on it. Write every man you know who's in the service. Write often, write regularly, and use V-mail because that's the fastest, surest way to reach him. I know you've been doing plenty of writing, Marilyn. Gee, yes, Bing. I've sent many a line overseas. You still have some good ones left, too, may I say? <laughs> say, uh, speaking of mail, Bing, uh, I just got a letter from Bob Hope. Well, how is old Funnel Flu? <laughs> well, he signs himself, as always. No improvement, I guess. <laughs> you know, I think it's wonderful for Hope to go where he goes. That boy will go anywhere to get free mailing privileges. <laughs> anywhere. <laughs> But I still can't understand why Hope picked Yuki to write to. Well, you see, I'm the Kraft Music Hall special representative and sales agent for his book, I Never Left Home. You are? Anyone want to buy a copy? Oh, brother, is anybody anywhere buying it? Oh, no funny thing, Ken, but that trivial tract on the travels of that toothpaste troubadour is finding a market. Really? It's a few old suckers someplace. I, mean, I got the dope directly from the publishers, Simon, Suspender, and Schuster. <laughs> Simon, Suspender, and Schuster? What's Suspender doing in there? He's holding up Schuster's bag. <laughs> You know, would you believe it that before he went into the army, I sold Mickey Rooney 15 copies of I Never Left Home. What would Rooney want with 15 copies? Stands on him to shave. <laughs> it's the best way to top a Hope joke, too. Say, has anybody got any messages to send to Hope when I write to him? Yes, Yuki, you may tell him that he's not the only literary light in show business. I, too, have uh, received considerable acclaim from the literary critics. You really have? Yes, I have. You know that book? Uh, they made a picture out of it. My, my friend Flicker? Yes. Flicker's running for me now. <laughs> Worked a half and 48 the other day. Pulled up in the... In I'll tell him that. Anything else? Yes, tell him that uh, we found his scrapbook. Where'd you find it? It was under his pillow. Oh, I'll <laughs> tell him that there. Any, any other news? Uh, see, I don't think of anything else right now. Oh, tell him I think that you're the swellest little guy in the world. I want to I see you get places. Tell him that. Really? Should I say that? Yes, you'd be doing me a favor, Yuki. Now, if you want to do me another big favor when you get the letter written... Yeah. Deliver it in person, huh? <laughs> wish me luck. Oh, huh? wish me luck. I'm trying a new song right in through here. I don't know it too good. I need it. This 
lovely day will lengthen in to evening. We'll sigh goodbye to all we've ever had. Alone, where we have walked together, I'll remember April and be glad. I'll be content. You loved me once in April. Your lips were warm. And love and spring were new, but I'm not afraid of autumn and her sorrow. For I'll remember April and you. The fire will dwindle into glowing ashes. For flames and love live such a little while. I won't forget, but I won't be lonely. I'll remember April, and I'll smile. Such a little while. I won't forget. I won't be lonely. I'll remember April. In just a moment, the charioteers are going to come out with Red River Valley. At the moment, another one of our friends comes out. You victory gardeners are now reaping tasty rewards for your spring labors. So remember the way to do full justice to those fresh greens when you make your nutritious salads. Serve them with lots of Miracle Whip, for Miracle Whip is the famous salad dressing millions prefer. It has a flavor all its own, a lively, just-right flavor that comes from an exclusive craft recipe. Miracle Whip combines the qualities of zesty boil dressing and fine mayonnaise, and it's extra creamy smooth due to a special patented beater. Get some Miracle Whip salad dressing tomorrow. Serve it every time you serve salads, and do that every day, for salads are important to everyone's well-being, from grandma down to the youngsters. So serve salads often with lots of delicious Miracle Whip, America's favorite salad dressing. I should never have taken to roaming I should never have left all my friends Cause I dream of the Red River Valley And the home where the Red River bends From this valley they say you are going I will miss your bright eyes and sweet smile And they say you are taking the sunshine That has brightened my path for a while Just consider a while ere you leave me do not hasten to bid me adieu And remember the Red River Valley And the girl who has loved you so true Oh, her hair was all yellow and flowing Like the gold of a bright western sky And her eyes was the blue of the mountain And she cried when we whispered goodbye Well, just consider a while ere you leave me 
I'd hasten to bid me adieu And remember the Red River Valley And the girl who has loved you so true But I'm so tired Awful, awful tired of roaming I hear you talking Yes, and someday When I've sung every song Baba Doo's play I'll return, return One melody To the valley Yeah! Valley where I belong Coincident with the release of Paramount's picture so proudly we hail was the birth of a new and vivid screen personality, Mr. Sonny Tufts. Ever eager to capitalize on a long lead, Paramount lost no time in again teaming Sonny with Paulette Goddard. Well, this big fine time boys here. Yeah, the result, I Love a Soldier, hit the top houses this week, I'm told. You'd think that after all this, Mr. Tufts would be allowed a bit of a breather. But no, he's been rushed in to bolster up a little thing that they got me working on here called Here Come the Waves. And you ought to get a gander at us in our Navy G.I.s. Too bad you changed your dungarees before you come over, Sonny. Too bad you didn't, Bing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Say, uh, which one of you gets the girl? Well, you see, the girl's Betty Hutton. Oh, uh, which one of you gets away? <laughs> I, uh, <clears throat> I see what you mean. Well, uh, either way, you know, that's something I've been worried about. I've been wondering just what kind of reception a sailor gets when he calls on his girlfriend's stern father to ask his daughter's hand in marriage. Oh, that's easy to find out, Sonny. All I have to do is set a scene. Gee, isn't radio wonderful? Mm -hmm. Now, on this scene, Bing Crosby is the father of a girl. Radio is wonderful. <laughs> While Mr. Sonny Tufts is a sailor coming home with his girl to broach the subject of matrimony to her father. As they come walking up the path, they're very happy. He's singing... Sailing, sailing over the bounding foam. My stomach's going up and down. I should have left it home. Oh. Please, please, dear. I don't think Father will like that song. Oh, a land lover? No, a music lover. <laughs> <laughs> go on, dear. Go on in and ask him. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, hmm. Yes? Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm sunny. I'm gloomy. <laughs> That's a great joke. That's a great joke, sir. I certainly oh, like no, that. No, That's no, a piece. No. Yes, sir. Not that funny. How much do you want to bite me for? <laughs> <laughs> No, sir, I don't want to borrow any money. I just want to, to marry your daughter, sir. Well, then you better borrow something. Uh -huh. You wish to take away my pride, my joy, my little old girl child, eh? What makes you think you love her? Well, sir, the moment your daughter and I met, well, I looked at her and she looked at me and, well, uh, she had happened. What? She slapped my face. <laughs> Just like her mother. Well, that's what I like about your daughter, sir. She's the kind of a girl I'd like to bring home to father. Do you really mean that, son? Yes, sir. And it would take something like her to bring father home. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously a man of discerning taste. But let's be friends, my boy. Now, you don't have to be so formal with me. There's no need to keep calling me, sir. Uh, Navy custom, sir. Yes, habit is strong, isn't it? But relax, son. Relax. You don't have to stand there at attention. Uh, Navy discipline, sir. Come, 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 my boy. Why don't you sit down? Uh, Navy pants, sir. <laughs> Navy, Navy. I don't know about you marrying my little flower, though. I've, I've heard reports about you sailors. Uh, uh, girl in every port. <laughs> girls following you all around. Nothing but girls, girls, girls. Any truth in this? What if there is? Where is the nearest recruiting officer? <laughs> Please, sir. You see, I really am in love with your daughter. Why, I've even got her name tattooed in my arm. Let me see, son. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Mabel, Nona, Audrey, Sandra, Jane, Betty, Mildred, Gloria. Hmm. I'm sorry. You've, you've got the wrong idea. you got the wrong arm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, I guess boys will be boys. Uh, of course, there's a little minor item I'd like to bring up just to... 
Just how are you fixed financially? Well, I, I had a little nest egg. You had? What happened to it? Well, I took your daughter out and she uh, hatched it. <laughs> well, in that case, I must remind you, son, that you're both very young, and I suggest you wait a long time, a long time. I'd like to know a lot more about you before I consent to my daughter's marriage. A lot more. Then I shall set the date. Well, my, my father's a millionaire. How's Sunday at four o'clock? <laughs> Don't you want to hear, hear more about me? Oh, no, characters, my boy. Characters written all over your face. But remember, after you're married, things won't always be so rosy. You'll have hard times, troubles, disappointments. I may even say big disappointments. Hey, Pa. My biggest. Just. <laughs> hey, look, you. All of Marilyn's boyfriends take me out to dinner. So could I go back to the ship with you to eat? I'd like to see a Navy mess. Sure, come on along. They'd like to see a civilian mess. <laughs> Thanks, now, but... If you two want to be alone, I might go away for, uh, say, about $2.85. Well, why so much? Well, the price includes the old man, too. He goes. <laughs> you know, I admire a kid like you, and I I'd like to do something for you. As a matter of fact, I know just what I'd like to do, but I guess I'd better not. Why? Go to jail. <laughs> oh, here you are, Sonny, with Father. Now you run along, Stinky, or I'll get Brother John to throw you out. Hi, all, Sailor. I'm Marilyn's biggest brother. Biggest anything. <laughs> Well, my boy, now that you've met our little family, how do you like us? Well, must I answer? Each in his own way contributes something to our happiness. I spread joy. I spread cheer. I just spreads. <laughs> <laughs> my family, my little family, my little brood means a lot to me. I'll never forget when this little old daughter of mine came along. A happy bundle from above. A happy bundle. Then I came along. A sad sack. Mm. <laughs> The road company. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'll bet your daughter was cute as a little girl. I mean, freckle face, yes. pigtails, yes. bobby socks. Watch your language. <laughs> <laughs> my boy, I've been living with my children here nigh on to 20 years. Been both father and mother to them. Seen them through happiness and sadness. Watched them grow from childhood to manhood. And now you come along and you want to marry my little daughter. My only girl child. If I consent, will, will you do me a favor? What, sir? Uh... Take me away from all this. <laughs> I will if you let me call you Pappy. Climb upon my knees, sonny boy. If I deal, your knees will deploy. Sonny, I can hold you. I'm afraid I'll fold you. Please don't bring me down, sonny boy. <laughs> my knees are strong. I'm afraid you're wrong, boy. They'll hold you up, sonny boy. Your two kneecaps, sir, surely will collapse, sir. I'll fracture you, sonny boy. You're not so heavy, said you know my weight. Tell me how heavy. Ripped, I'm too hard. So maybe <laughs> we had best rehearse it. For safety's sake, reverse it. I'll climb upon your knee. Sunny boy. Back. 1927, Babe Ruth signs three-year contract to slug for the Yankees at 70 G's per annum. The Yanks cop the World Series. Alabama ties up Stanford in the Rose Bowl in the last two minutes of play. 1927, and young men strolling through the park with their girls on a summer evening are saying, Let's sit here on this bench till it gets dark. Mm, it's almost dark now, Harry. Yeah, but I want to wait till it gets real dark. <laughs> Why, Harry? Because I want to do something I've always wanted to do, but I couldn't get up enough nerve. What, Harry? Walk on the grass. <laughs> Say, Harry, do you mind if I wear lipstick? 
Well, it's kind of messy. Uh, there's a guy down at the pool room comes in every night. He's got his handkerchief all red with it. Yeah, but my lipstick is indelible. It doesn't come off. I don't believe it. I'd like to prove it to you. Well, okay, if you really want to. Go on and prove it. Here's my handkerchief. <laughs> oh, Harry. Listen, honey, I've been thinking. Well, what, Harry? Well, don't answer this if you think I'm fresh, but uh, can you cook? Why, of course, Harry. Make beds? Naturally. How are you with kids? Why, I, I hardly know what to say. But if you mean, do I like children? Oh, I do. I love children. Well, then I guess you're the girl I've been looking for. <gasps> looking for is what, Harry? My kid sister's girl scout troop needs a new leader. <laughs> Honestly, Harry, I don't know what to make of you. Sometimes I'm happy. Sometimes I'm blue. My disposition depends on you. Oh, you take life too serious. Well, don't you think a girl has to, Harry? Not necessarily. Now, you take like it says in that new song. Oh, we ain't got a barrel of money. Maybe we're ragged and funny, but, but we'll travel along, singing a song, side by side. Don't know what's coming tomorrow, maybe it's trouble and sorrow, but, but we'll travel, travel the road, sharing our load, side by side. Through all kinds of weather, what if the sky should fall? Just as long as we're together, it doesn't matter at all. When they've all had their quarrels and parted, we'll be the same as we started. Just a traveling along, singing a song, side by side. Are you frightened by big figures? Oh, no. John Trout is one of my best friends. <laughs> oh, I'm talking about numerical figures, figures up in the millions and billions, like, well, like 121 billion, 237 million. That happens to be exactly the number of marbles I lost to my oldest boy last night. <laughs> I think he ran in a loaded Emmy on me. <laughs> well, 121 billion, 237 million happens to be the number of pounds of milk the five million dairy farmers in the United States are producing this year. Mm. That's many a double rich malt and a mild high yes, cone, sir. Isn't it? And it's also 102% of the amount of milk produced last year. Or in simpler terms, it's about 56,412,900,000 quarts. Gee, no wonder everybody's singing, Milkman, keep those bottles quiet. <laughs> Takes a lot of work to keep that many bottles full, but our American dairy farmers are doing it. They're in there fighting the Battle of the Barns, 14, 15, 16 hours a day, seven days a week, seeing that we at home and the men overseas get all the milk and the milk products needed to keep pounding out victories. American dairy farmers are doing a great job, and they deserve a, a lot more credit than they're getting. They're up every morning before dawn. They're out in all kinds of weather caring for their fine herds. It's the same hard work they've been doing for years, only now there's a lot more of it, and it's more important. Now it's work vital to victory, and if the past is a fair example, American dairy farmers are going to continue doing the same kind of job that has contributed so solidly to our successes up to now, each of which is a step on the road to victory. Amor, amor, amor. 
This word so sweet that I repeat means I adore you. Amor, amor, my love. Would you deny this heart that I have placed before you? I can't find another word with meaning so clear. My lips try to whisper sweeter things in your ear. But somehow or other, nothing sounds quite so clear as this soft, caressing word I know. Amor, amor, my love. When you're away, there is no day, and nights are lonely. Amor, amor, my love Make life divine Say you'll be mine And love me only covers everything we had lined up for this evening in the old craft music hall, friends, but next Thursday at exactly the same time we got going this evening, we're going to get going again. The same spot on your dials, too, so try to join us. We've also invited the mighty Sonny Tufts to join us again next Thursday. Until then, adios. <laughs> Tune in the Kraft Music Hall next Thursday at the same time to hear Bing Crosby, John Scott Trotter and his orchestra, the Music Maids and Men, Yuki, the Charioteers, and as our special guest for the evening, we've invited Sonny Tufts to pay us another visit. Marilyn Maxwell appeared through the courtesy of Metro Golden Mayor, the producers of the Technicolor musical Bathing Beauty. <laughs> Appetizing in so many tempting ways. That's Kraft Salad Mustard, tangy, golden, and creamy smooth. The salad mustard that's prepared to Kraft's own special recipe. It's delicious in deviled eggs, gives grand flavor lift to salad dressings, adds extra zest to cheese fondues and Welsh rabbits. Serve Kraft Salad Mustard often in a variety of appetizing ways. There's a sharper Kraft Mustard, too, with nippy horseradish added. So treat the family to both varieties. Put Kraft Mustards on your shopping list tomorrow. This is the National Broadcasting Company.